Hey, welcome back. Azure AD manages different types of identities, users, service principle, managed identities, and devices. In this lesson, we are going to learn about each type of these Azure AD identities. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. There are four types of identities you can manage using Azure Active Directory. These are users, service principal, managed identity, and device. So let's learn about each one by one. First one is Azure Active Directory users. A user identity is a representation of something that is managed by Azure Active Directory. Employees and guests are represented as users in Azure Active Directory. If you have several users with the same access needs, you can create a group in Azure Active Directory. Groups allow you to assign access permission to all the members of the group instead of having to assign the access rights individually. Azure AD Business to Business, which is known as B2B collaboration, is a feature within external identities. I will talk about that later, which include the capability to add guest users into your Azure Active Directory. With B2B collaboration, an organization can securely share applications and services with guest users from other organizations. The next type is service principal. A service principal is a security identity used by applications or services to access specific Azure resources. You can think of it as an identity for an application. For an application to delegate its identity and access functions to Azure AD, the application must first be registered with the Azure Active Directory. The process of registering the application creates a globally unique object ID, which is stored in your home tenant or directory. A service principle is created in each tenant where the application is used and references the global unique object ID. And the service principle defines what the app can do in the tenant, such as who can access the app and what resources the app can access. The next type is called managed identity. A managed identity is an identity in Azure Active Directory that is automatically managed by Azure. Managed identities are typically used to manage the credentials for authenticating a cloud application with an Azure service. So what are the benefits to using managed identity? Let me explain you a couple of benefits here. Application developers can authenticate to services that support managed identity or Azure resources. Another benefit is any Azure service that supports Azure AD authentication can use managed identities to authenticate to another Azure service, for example, accessing your Azure Key Vault. The third benefit could be managed identities can be used without any additional cost as well. There are two types of managed identities, the system assigned and user assigned. So let me explain these one by one. So what is system assigned? Some Azure services allows you to enable a managed identity directly on a service instance. When you enable a system assigned managed identity, an identity is created in Azure Active Directory that is here to the life cycle of the service instance. When the resource is deleted, Azure automatically deletes the identity for you. By design, only that Azure resource can use this identity to request token from Azure AD. The second type of managed identities are user assigned. You may also create a managed identity as a standalone Azure resource. A user assigned managed identity is assigned to one or more instances of an Azure service. You can create user assigned managed identity and assign it to one or more instances of an Azure service. In the case of user assigned managed identities, the identity is managed separately from the resources that uses it. The last type of managed identity is known as device. 
A device is a piece of hardware such as a mobile device, laptop, server or printer. And device identities can be set up in different ways in Azure Active Directory which determine the properties such as who owns the device. Managing devices in Azure AD allows an organization to protect its assets by using tools such as Microsoft Intune to ensure standards of security and compliance. Azure AD also enables single sign-on to these devices, apps and services from anywhere to these devices. When you talk about these devices, there are multiple options for getting these devices into Azure AD. The first one is Azure AD registered devices. These can be Windows 10, iOS, Android, or Mac operating system devices. Devices that are Azure AD registered are typically owned personally rather than by the organization. They are signed in with a personal Microsoft account or another local account. The second type is Azure AD joint. These devices exist only in the cloud. Azure AD joint devices are owned by an organization and signed in with an organization's Azure AD account. Users sign into their devices with their Azure AD or synced Azure Active Directory work or school accounts. You can configure Azure AD joint devices for all Windows 10 devices except your Windows 10 Home Edition. The third option is hybrid Azure AD joint devices. These can be your Windows 7, 8.1, Windows 10, or Windows 11 or Windows Server 2008 or newer version of Server Editions. Devices that are hybrid Azure AD joint are owned by your organization and are signed in with an Azure Active Directory domain service account belonging to that organization. They exist in the cloud and on-premises. IT admins can use tools like Microsoft Intune, which is a mobile device management solution to manage these devices. I have included an interactive guide. You can click on this link to go through steps on creating Azure Active Directory users and groups. So please feel free to download this study guide by going into a guide to cloud.com. Today's world is about collaboration, working with people both inside and outside of your organization. This means that you sometimes need to provide external users access to your organization's applications and data. In the next lesson, we are going to learn about external identities in Azure Active Directory. So I will see you on the next one. Until then, take care.